Hi everyone, welcome to the Python tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to simulate a grocery cashier. I would have a buying list in the form of a dictionary, and then I will uh, find the total price of the buying list according to the uh, price uh, information of the grocery store. And then after I've got the total price, I would find the suitable a discount according to the total bill price and the membership grade of the customer. And I would like to uh, find out all these uh, values in with uh, using some uh, user-defined functions. Okay, let's see the buying list in the form of a dictionary first. What does it mean by this buying list? It means that I'm going to buy uh, two uh, bags of biscuit, uh, three chickens, and 20 eggs. So this is the uh, product as the key, and the value of this uh, key value pair is two, and here two means the uh, number of products to buy. Okay, so I would like to buy two biscuits, uh, three chicken, and 20 eggs. So I have to compare my buying list to the price information of a, gro a grocery store. Suppose the uh, price information of a, gro a grocery store is in the form of a dictionary as well. Here, um, in this key value pair, the key refers to the product and the value refers to the price of one unit of this uh, product. So $2 for biscuit, $3 for fish, $5 for chicken, $2 for cabbage and uh, $0.2 for each egg. So when I have the price information, I can use this information to find out the total price for my buying list. My idea is to uh, create some user-defined functions to help me find out the price of my buying list. Also, I can use the bill price found by my user defined function to find out um, the discount for my uh, purchase. So my idea is like this. I set the uh, bill price to be zero as my uh, initializing value of, of this uh, bill price variable. Here I create a user-defined function. What does it mean by um, my uh, intention? I want to create a function called getPrice, uh, and with this getPrice function, I'm able to uh, get the price of two biscuits, three chickens, and 20 eggs. So I will pass biscuits two uh, to the um, getPrice function, and then I will get the subtotal of the amount of the two biscuits. And then when I pass a chicken and three to the get price function again, I will get the subtotal price for three chickens. And then the price of three chickens will be added to the price of two biscuits. And the amount will be stored in the uh, 
bill price variable. So after running this for loop, I'm able to get the total price of my products contained in my buying dictionary. Okay. So I'm going to do the get price fun function later. And after I've got the bill price, I'm going to uh, get some discount according to my membership grade. Suppose I'm a member of this uh, grocery store. When I become a member, I can have some um, discount. And the discount is calculated according to my membership grade. So suppose my membership grade is gold. The adjustment to my uh, bill price would be like this. It means that the discount is calculated according to the bill price and my membership grade. So I need to uh, create two user defined functions, get price and get discounts according to uh, my code here. So how can I utilize uh, the uh, code here to create the uh, two functions? I can do something like this for the uh, get price function first. So product means the um, biscuit or chicken or egg. Quantity means 2, 3 or 20 in my uh, particular buying dictionary. Now I'm doing the calculation of the subtotal for each product. Uh, price the addict refers to the dictionary according to the uh, grocery information and product means the uh, uh, thing that I'm going to buy. Uh, quantity refers to the uh, value from the uh, buying dict. So um, price dict product refers to the uh, price of each product according to the uh, grocery information. So a biscuit will be two. I mean, uh, two dollars for each biscuit according to the dictionary uh, of the price information. So two here times quantity two here. I would get four for uh, my biscuit purchase. I can print the uh, calculation uh, out. So uh, the product name uh, would be uh, having um, this price. And this price will be multiplied by the quantity that I bought. So for biscuits, I would get biscuit uh, $2 times 2 equals 4, something like that. So I will do the uh, subtotal for both uh, biscuit and chicken, and also the eggs as well. And after I've uh, set up the get price function, I can go to the get discount function.
Hmm. Okay. I have to um, determine the discount according to the uh, membership grade. So suppose the discount is a uh, zero for now because I don't know the membership grade yet. If I have no membership grade, of course I cannot get any, any discount. If the bill price is uh, larger than or equal to uh, $25, I can have some uh, particular discount, which also depends on the membership grade. See, um, if my bill price is over $25 and my um, membership is gold, my bill price will just be 75% uh, of my original bill price. The discount becomes 25, which means 25%. If my price is um, over to, uh, exactly equal to $25 and my membership is silver, I would have another grade of discount. So for a silver grade, the bill price will be 85% of the original price. I have another uh, membership grade. Bronze. I will have a 5% discount. Okay, and then I can print out the um, statement to show my discount. Okay, so here it means that the um, total price uh, larger than or equal to $25 will have some discount according to your membership grade. Since my uh, intention is to get the return value of a function, and store the return value to a variable, I need to really return a value as my function output. So that's why I really need to use the return keyword here. Same for here. I need to return the subtotal as my get, fun uh, get price uh, function output because my intention is to obtain the value for each product and then I add each value to the bill price to get the total bill price. Okay, so when I have a uh, this buying list according to the um, price information for this grocery store, I will have the uh, amount like this. Yes, I have to pay four dollars for my biscuits, uh, fifteen dollars for my chicken, and four dollars for my egg. So the, the uh, amount will be um. $23. Since it, it, it is not larger than the uh, $25, I cannot get an, any discount, even though my membership is, is gold. 
But how about、uh, changing the amount of my、uh, chicken to five? Yes. Since、uh, altogether I need to pay a、uh, thirty-three dollars, and I am now a- uh, a- uh, able to、um, get the discount of twenty-five percent because I am a gold member. Thirty-three、uh, dollars、uh, times seventy-five percent will be equal to this amount. So.、Um, I can uh, uh, just pay this amount as my、uh, final payment.、Uh, my code is intuitive and straightforward, but it may not always be the best solution to the problem. If you can think about any improvement of my code, feel free to、uh, post your code and、uh, on the comment section below the video. If you like this video, please give me a like and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.